in the next two videos, I'm going to walk you through how to add custom fonts to your application. If we go to the application, we can see this is really, really ugly right now. And you could rely on Bootstrap or some of those uh, different type of frameworks to handle your fonts for you, but I think it's a really good practice for you to learn how to do it yourself as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to use some of the built-in CSS fonts. And in the next video, we're going to walk through how to use custom fonts so you can use anything in your application. So to use a regular font, we're going to go with Arial Black and then Lucida Sans Unicode uh, for the application right now. So let's open up Styles. And I'm going to say for all of our H1 headings, I want a specific font family. So I'm going to say font family and in quotes, Arial Black. That's our first choice. Next one is going to be Gadget. I believe I spelled that correctly. And then Sans Serif. Okay, so now if I come back, I do have the application already running. Hit refresh and you can see this font changed. Okay, great. Now for the paragraph tags, I want to change this one and say font family, change this one to Lucida Sans Unicode. Lucida Grande, not to be confused with Ariana Grande, and then Sans Serif. Come back, hit refresh, and there you go. You can see this looks a lot better uh, than those built-in ones. So this is how you can uh, how you can access some of the built-in fonts that are available. And if you just Google CSS uh, built-in fonts, you can see right here these are called Web Safe fonts, and uh, uh, you can see all of the different fonts that you have available. These ones are ones that are pretty safe for using uh, in any browser. So these ones you can essentially use the same call we did right here with font family and then just copy and paste any of these in. So say for any reason we wanted to use kind of this courier typewriter type font, we could come here for the paragraph, hit, uh, oh, not the whole thing. Uh, and replace it here, come back to our application, hit refresh, and you can see these fonts all changed. I typically don't like that font for this type of application, change it back and we're good to go. So this is how you can use some of the web safe fonts. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to build any font into your application.